Hey everyone, this is going to be the conclusion, I think, of page two, unit two, lab one, page two. And I'm gonna continue off where it says, if there's time, and I'm gonna to try to do take it further A and B. Um, I'm probably gonna go a little quicker, so just make sure that you've tried this first. Uh, I'm not probably not gonna stop and explain as much as I did in the first two videos that I have put out. But make sure you tried the if there's time by yourself first before you watch this video and then take it further before you watch the video. So let's start with number seven. Right now, the script always picks a number between one and ten. Actually, let me fix that because I have it on one and three when I was debugging. But it always picks a number between one and ten. At the start of the game, ask the player what the maximum number should be and make your program choose a number between one and maximum. So it's cool that they actually told us exactly how we should do this. Ask the player what the maximum number should be. So I'm gonna have to use another ask block, and a command block, and I should, let's see. Well, if I put it after I set the secret number, that's gonna be kind of weird because then I won't, I won't have the value to use. Maybe if I put the ask what's your name before the sets, the initialization of secret number, that makes a little bit more sense. So I can ask, what should the maximum number be? And then I can use answer from this block as the maximum number. So that's one, one way of doing it. Um, let's see, let's see if I hit apply and let's play the number guessing game. Uh, with the maximum number, let's set it to 20. Now it says guess my secret number. Oh, okay, so answer worked, it's set to 20 right now. That might be a bug later. That might present a bug later on, but I'll think, have to think about it a little bit later. Now it says, guess my secret number. I'm going to guess one. Oh my gosh. Why do I always guess right the first time? <laughs> or it seems like it. Uh, let's set the maximum number again to 20. Guess my secret number. Let's try one. Guess was too small. Great. Let's try 20. Your guess was too big. Uh, 19. 18. Oh my gosh, these one second delays are taking forever. 17, 16, 15. Actually, I'm being very silly right now because I should actually like, that. the strategy wouldn't be to keep going down one if it's too big. It should be to go down like further down. Uh, so let's try 10. 10 is too small, so it's between 10 and probably 15. Uh, 15 is too big. 14, 14 was the correct answer and I guessed it. Okay, so it's awesome. So the, the correct answer was 14, and that was greater than the 10 that I had previously. So I'm pretty sure that it's working correctly. Okay? Um, and that's how I was able to use the answer from this ask block. And it didn't really affect this repeat until block because I asked again to guess my secret number and to wait. Okay? So that's cool. That works, I think. Uh, let's go to take it further A. Use another script variable to keep track of how many guesses the player makes before getting the right number. When the player guesses the secret number, say how many guesses it took. Okay, so I want to create another script variable. They gave me that hint. And I want to keep track of how many guesses the player made before guessing the correct number. So I'm going to create a new script variable by clicking on this little black triangle right next to secret number. And I'm going to rename it from B to number of guesses. Okay. Now, I want to initialize this. Whenever you create a variable, you do want to initialize it uh, immediate, almost immediately, um, or at least at the top of the script. So I want to set that. I'm going to put that right underneath secret number. I'm going to initialize number of guesses to zero. So every time, actually it wouldn't really matter, but I want to set it to zero. I was going to say that every time the game starts, it would it would um, have a different like secret um, value. But this is a script variable, so every time it starts, it's going to kind of like reset anyway. But I do want to set it to zero instead of like an undefined value. I want to have it to I want to have it have a value. I want it to have a value. I guess I should say. So I'm going to start it at zero. So every time the game starts, it's going to set number of guesses to zero and not just like exist in memory, but not have a value. So that's cool. There we go. When the player guesses the secret number, say how many guesses it took. 
So there are different points in time where I have to increment or I have to increase the number of guesses by one. Every single time someone makes a guess and they're not right, I should increase the number of guesses by one. So let's see, where should I do that? So if I put that, and the block I'm going to use to change the value of guesses is the change block, the change command block. And I'm going to change the value. Well, right now it doesn't have any variables, global variables to access. But if I throw change inside of here, it's going to have access to the number of guesses because it is a uh, script variable. So it's only local or available to this script, this block, these, this code. But I don't want it there. I got to think about where I want this change block. So where do I want to increase the number of guesses every single time I guess it wrong? So where am, is that going to happen? So let's see. So repeat until answer equals a secret number. If I put it here, let me think. Let me think slowly. So if I put it here, that means it's going to ask a secret number and wait. If I guess right, it's going to skip this, but it took one guess. Um, repeat until answer equals secret number. But if I guess right, it's going to say z it's going to say zero. Um, if I guess correctly the first time, the number of guesses. So this actually, maybe what I want to do is I want to start the number of guesses at one. So this could be a bug where if I, if I started at zero, and as you guys can see, as I'm like thinking this through, I'm kind of like changing my mind about different things. But if I started at zero, then when I guess right, I still have to increase the value by one. And that might not be a good idea. That might be like kind of like silly because then I have to figure out like that the answer was correct and that I should increment it by one before I go on to anything else. Okay. Now that might not be what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, I'm going to start it at one instead of zero. I'm going to start it at one. And so that if this is true, it's going to spit back. Uh, you guessed it and it took, how do I, how should I say this? it took you blank number of guesses. So let's use that join block from uh, the first video. So I'm going to say you guessed it. You guessed it or you guessed the secret number in blank tries. Okay, and that blank is going to be the number of guesses. Okay, and it's gonna say that. Let's make it four seconds so it doesn't like go away too quickly so I could celebrate if I do guess it right. Um, and what's gonna happen here is that if the, my, when I guess the secret number, it's exactly, my answer is exactly the secret number, it's gonna skip this whole repeat block and it's gonna say you guess the secret number in, and since number of guesses was initialized to one, it's gonna say in one tries. Oh, that might be bad or one try or one tries. Let me do this for now. Because I should realize that I should I should have like a conditional here where if the number of guesses is one, uh, maybe I should just say try. And if it's not one, if it's more than that, then it should say tries. But for now, I'm just gonna have this just so I can like kind of blast through this challenge quickly and not really like w spend all this time on trying to figure out how to make it say the correct thing or use correct English. But here's another place where, as I'm going through this, kind of like on the fly, I could see where I could um, be more specific for different situations. I can find like edge cases where like certain things should be different than they are. But let me go back, let me go back to uh, where I should change the number of guesses by one. So if the person guessed wrong, okay, what I want to do is, let's say I put it in here, okay, your guess was too big, and then I change number of guesses by one, and then it says, guess my secret number and wait. So if I do that, if the guess is too small, I also need this down here. Now this looks like it should work. The problem with this is that I'm being, I'm being repetitive. I'm kind of repeating myself over and over again. This I think will work because if the guess was too big, it's going to increase or change the number of guesses by one. And if the guess was too small, it's still going to change or increase the number of guesses by one. And then it's going to ask for the secret number again. Now, this looks good, except that it looks a little redundant to me. Like, I don't want to have to ask twice. I, I don't want to have to, I don't want to repeat myself in code if I can help it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the change and I'm going to have it change the number of guesses by one. 
after it tells you, every single time that it tells you your guess was too big or too small, it's gonna change the number of guesses by one, so it's gonna increase by one, and then it's going to ask you to guess again. So that way I don't have to repeat myself in code and it should still work, work correctly. Now, I also want to kind of show what the number of guesses is. So I'm gonna go over here to variables and I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have show variable. If I do this once, it should stay on the, on the screen. Since this is a script variable, I can't like show it from over here. I can't find it over here. Um, so I'm gonna have to put it in the script at least temporarily. And I want it to show the number of guesses. Let me apply and let me play the game. And you'll, you can see that it says temporary because it's a script variable. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, what should the maximum number be? Let's make it uh, 1500. Let's go crazy. And then it says guess my secret number. So right now, before I even guess, um, it, the, the number of guesses equals one. If I happen to guess it on the first try, then it's going to say that I guessed it in one try. All right, and if it takes me more than one try, then let's see. So this was probably too insane to guess, a, use that as an answer, but let's try it. Let's try, um, let's try 1500. Let's see if that's the secret number. Your guess was too big, what a surprise. Let's try 1000, let's just kind of narrow it down a little bit more. Hold on one second. Now the number of guesses equals two. So I haven't guessed the second time yet. So this might not be good, all right? So now if I, oh no, this might be okay. This might be okay because if I do guess the correct number here, like on this try, then it's going to skip this repeat until block. So it's not gonna do the if else thing again and it's not gonna change the number of guesses by one again. And it, it will say the number of guesses that it took was two. So that's okay, I think. Let me just make sure that that's correct. So this is my second try, my second guess. And the guess is still too big. What a surprise. So let me go down to five, 500. I'm going to cut it in half. And the guess is too small. So I know my value is between 500 and 1,000. Or 501 and 999. Let's try 750. Let's just keep having it. Uh, guess was too big. So let's go, what is it? 625-ish. Let's go. Guess was too small. So let's try 700. Guess was too big. So 700 is too big, 625 is too small. Let's try 650. Guess is too small. 675. Guess is too big. All right, so now we're getting close. So it's gonna be maybe, let's try 660. Guess was too big. So 652. Guess is too small. 657. Guess is too small, 658. I think I've got it narrowed down, cornered. Your guess is too small, 659 must be the answer. You guessed the secret number in 13 try or tries. Perfect, okay? And that is good because that's exactly how many tries it took me to guess that number. Uh, I added a little space because I noticed that when it told me the number of guesses, there was, this was, like, there was no space in between the number of guesses and try and tries. So that's okay. Let me just, um, let me set the uh, maximum number to two and see if I can get it on the first try to make sure that it works correctly. So you guys can see that right now I'm like testing and almost debugging it by looking at the number of guesses. So this is my second game. So when I click on number guessing game, um, the number of guesses should reset to one right at this point. Um, let's see if that happens. Okay. Now it says zero, and you might be wondering why it's doing that. And I can see why it's doing that now. Because I am showing, when the game restarts, it's showing the variable number of guesses. But number of guesses doesn't really have a value yet until three lines later where it's set number of guesses to one. So actually what I'm going to do... A lot of people maybe at this point would be like, uh-oh, like my, there's a bug in my code, something's wrong. But I can see that maybe if I just show it after it gets initialized, then the number of guesses should be correct. Now there is, like, I think it's a bug in Snap where every single time you run the, the game, it just adds another like temporary script variable looking thing, even though this one doesn't really exist anymore. I guess it's just keeping a history of the, the number of guesses script variable. 
but what I can just do is hide that variable and it'll reset. So let me play the game again. What should the maximum number be? Let's go with two. And can, can guess my secret number? Wow, that's not even correct. Can you guess my secret number? I wonder how long that was incorrect for. <laughs> so can you guess my secret number? Oh, I should restart the game. What should the maximum number be? Let's say two and, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me reset the game one more time. There we go. All right, what should the maximum number be? Let's say two. And right now, number of guesses is one. So that's exactly what I wanted, okay? Because at this point, it's going to show the number of guesses, which is one, it, it got reinitialized. And now let's hope I get it right the first time. So let's say the value is one. Guess, yes, I guessed correctly. And it says I did it in one try or tries, which is perfect. Okay, now let's, let me try one more time and hopefully I get it wrong so that it has to say two. Let me re restart the game. Maximum number, let's say two. And let's hope I get it wrong this time. Let's guess one again. Oh, I guessed right. Let me hide variables and let's reset the game. Maximum value two. And let's hope that it's not one this time. Oh my gosh, every single time it seems like it's one, but it's my selective memory, I guess. What should the maximum number be? Two. Guess my secret number. Let's try one again. And I guessed again. All right, so may maybe, maybe they have a bug here. So what I could do, I mean, it, there is a chance that like for the first three or four times, whatever I just did, it would, it was the random number was one um, instead of two. There is a chance that that's true. But what I can do to try to see what the secret number is, this is kind of like cheating, but I can show the variable. So after it shows the number of guesses, I want it to show the secret number. So I can kind of cheat or get it wrong on purpose. So let me apply. Let me play the game. What should the maximum number be? Let's say two. And the secret number is two. Perfect. So now you can see that the secret number is two. The number of guesses is one. So I'm going to guess one, which should be wrong because the secret number is two. And it should say uh, too small. It should say that. I just moved over the secret number. Your guess was too small. Perfect. Okay. Uh, can you, can you, or guess you my secret number? Jeez, what did I do? Can you guess my secret number? I really cannot believe I'm doing, this, making these mistakes. Can you guess my secret number? And wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. So um, that'll be fixed the next time I run the game. But right now, I'm, I'm going to guess one again to get it wrong. And it should say your guess was too small, and the number of guesses should go up by one, and it's three. So this would be my third try now. I'm going to guess it wrong again. I'm going to guess one. Your guess was too small, and now it should say number of guesses four. And now I'm going to say the correct answer, uh, which is two. And it should say that it took me four tries. Perfect. You guessed the secret number in four tries, or tries. Try or tries. Okay, uh, that should do it for take it further A. So you could see like that was pretty involved. I think I'm gonna stop right here and make one more video for take it further B. That way these videos don't get too long and they're more digestible. Okay, so I will see you in the next video even though I planned on this being the last video. But I'll see you in part three.